目前北京当局对病毒可能发生人传人是予以否认，但是曾经获得普利兹奖的知名记者、全球卫生和外交问题专家加瑞特在 CNN 撰文的表示 ，H7N9 病毒史上首次被发现造成人类感染，即使是发生在中国边远地区也是大新闻，何况目前是发生在有四千八百万人的人口密集地区。新唐人独家专访到加瑞特，他说 H7N9 现在。最让大家担心的一点就是中国的讯息不够透明。世界卫生组织把 H7N9 称为史上最致命的禽流感病毒。美国外交委员会全球卫生高级研究员加瑞特表示，现在最大的问题是信息太少。中共当局虽然每次给出具体数据，但他认为这个数字不真实。We don't know what the denominator is. It has not been determined. And until we know what that is, there's no reasonable way to say how dangerous this virus. 加瑞特曾经报道埃博拉病毒爆发，而获得普利策最佳科学报道奖。他对中国目前采取的检测手段也提出了质疑。Again, it it goes to do you use a cheap and sloppy test to go out and look for antibodies and just screen everybody、um, that's in a a defined population group. Of potential exposure, or to use this very, very precise RT-PCR method and test a smaller pool of people. 加瑞特观察，在官方信息相对封锁的时刻，微博起了一定的作用。There has certainly been a lot of controversy about the case reports, and I don't think there's any doubt that certain case reports came out because they went to Weibo first. And it created a kind of pressure. So, whatever province you're talking about, the local health authorities, usually within 24 hours after a buzz on Weibo came forward and said, "Oh, you're right. We have this case. You know, these three cases, or what have you." 回顾过去两千零三年 SARS 流行的情况，加瑞特更担心中国患者无法得到妥善的照顾。Well, a lot of people remember that, and they remember that. If they admit they have symptoms, or somebody catches their symptoms, they're going to disappear for two or three weeks. How does their family know where they are? How do they make a living? Who's paying the rent if they're not working and they're locked up in quarantine? The Chinese government tried to calm people down and said the central government will cover 75% of your health costs. Well, 25% of being in an intensive care unit for three weeks. Is a lot of money. 另外，一个影响疫情的主要因素还包括中国整体环境品质太差。Uh, so here's the problem. Number one, China's had record air pollution, and the air pollution corridor is right, you know, overlays right neatly on top of the H7 and 9 corridor. So you start with Beijing and you work your way down.、Um, and I was in China in. January, when it was, you know, allegedly the most polluted day in Chinese history, and I felt like I had the flu the whole time, but it was the air. H7N9 a year ago in China spread, Jia Ruite immediately questioned China has had a lot of dead chickens and yet no one has been able to find the cause of death. He is worried about whether it is related to H7N9. Xinhua reporter He Kaili and Hao Yibo reported.